Hey beauties, welcome to my question and answer video. So I asked you guys if you wanted to see a question and answer and what questions you would have and I got quite a bit of response so thank you for that and so today I am going to answer those questions for you. So I'm going to start off with the first one that was on my page here. It says your work is always super flawless. Thank you. Here's my questions. How many tattoos do you have? <laughs> you should do a video on them. How long have you been doing makeup? Did you go for school for it? And what shade are you in MAC? So first off, I have no idea how many tattoos I have. Like I tried to count and it was like, it, it's crazy because I've got, you know, what does this count? Is this my sleeve count as one or is it how many sessions I had? And then like, technically my sleeve was done twice. And then I've got cover-ups, so there's like tattoos under tattoos and all that. But yes, I got so many questions about my tattoos that I am going to do a tattoo video. Uh, that was going to be, I went back and forth on it because it's so personal. Like my tattoos are so personal. Some of them, like it doesn't even, like my red panda, I just like red pandas. But some of them, it's like, if you copy them, I would be pissed. So I'm gonna do the video. So I started taking pictures of it and I gotta get my husband like to take the one on my back and this and that, but I'm going to do the video. Believe it or not, I've only been doing makeup for two years. <laughs> There's a big story behind that. Like growing up, makeup was not allowed. And then when I started wearing makeup, like a lot of my family would be like, why are you wearing so much makeup? What are you doing all that for? And it used to irk me, like to the point that I didn't want to be around them with the makeup on. And then to the point that I stopped wearing makeup like all together for a while. Like I did not wear makeup. So some of my, if you ask some of my friends from back in the day, they'd be like, no, Mel wore like mascara and that was it. So they're like, well, what happened? So it's, it's a long story, but I've only been doing makeup for two years. No, I did not go to school for it. I am an artist and I had an injury to my shoulder. And basically what happened was I used to paint and I used to do interior design and just like different outlets as far as artistic, like artistic outlets. And I messed up my shoulder, couldn't do any of those things anymore. And so I started to get into makeup and I got like one thing and then two things and I got a brush and a better brush. And it just really, really catapulted me into it. And I loved it so much that I basically just did makeup every single day and I can show you some pictures of some god awful looks that I had done but I thought I was good. So the you don't have to go to school for makeup. If you are constantly trying to learn though, you can achieve so much just by watching informative YouTube videos, looking at things on Instagram, going to Mac classes because a lot of times Mac stores and other places have classes like they will teach you what you want to know and they don't advertise these things you have to go in and be like hey are you guys having any classes anytime soon so there's a lot of different ways to learn without actually having to go to school for it <laughs> what shade am i in mac foundation technically speaking i am an nc20 however like i'm kind of in between an nc15 and nc20 the Pro Longwear Waterproof, perfect dead on for NC20 and Studio Water White. However, like Studio Fix NC20 is a little bit dark for me, um, but I can make it work. And like in a month, I'll be C4, so <laughs> there's that. What are some of my current favorite songs? <laughs> That's another funny one because like I'm, I'm, everywhere when it comes to music. Like I am a little bit of metal a lot of hip hop and rap and then we do pop and then we go straight back to the 90s but I don't do a lot of country unless it's like Casey Musgraves because she cracks me up. Um, let me think. Um, I will say that I've been super obsessed with the Halsey Badlands album. Like, really, really like it. Um, this is Gasoline. Um, yeah, I really love it. Nice 
So that one's called Gasoline. And then, obviously, I love me some Beyonce formation. Like, obviously. Alicia Cara. I really like her. This is called Wild Things. And then I go straight into things like In This Moment, which is a metal band, and Otep. Like, I like so many different things. But, um, yeah, so... I don't know. I really, that's a weird question for me. And it's so like, I'm all over the place when it comes to music. What's your favorite makeup brand other than Mac brand as a whole? That one to me is extremely difficult because I feel like Mac has everything. I love just about something from every category in Mac, like really love it and continue to buy it. But there's other things like I love Hourglass powders, I love La Mer's powder, I love Tom Ford brushes, I love um, Bite Beauty lipsticks, I love, like, there's like little categories of things. Makeup Forever has a lot of great things, however, I haven't really found a foundation that I love from them or a powder, but I love their eyeshadows, um, primers, and things like that. So I can't really say that there's another brand that literally has everything that I could be like, by Mac, I'm going to use you now because Mac just has everything. I've always loved Mac. Do you only work for Mac or do you freelance as well? And can you make a video doing someone else's makeup? I live in the boonies. <laughs> I'm very happy to live in the boonies, but most of the time people are not going to come out to me. So I would have to like get all my gear and film somewhere else. It's going to be very difficult. If I had a volunteer, then yeah, sure. I would do somebody else's makeup, but am I going to drag somebody two hours away from where they are to come? No, probably not. Um, and then as far as Mac goes, yes, I work for Mac. I do not freelance. If you're a permanent artist, you don't freelance as far as like the company goes, but I do freelance outside of the company. So like I do makeup on other people as myself, not associated with Mac at all. Um, but that's kind of like few and far between. I do it if I want to, cause a lot of times like, I don't want to. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I only have two days off now and I want to be on my motorcycle. Like I don't want to go do something else involving putting makeup on somebody when I do it five days out of the week. But I don't mind doing it. I still enjoy it. If it's raining, we can go do that. But if it's sunny, I want to ride my bike. Just point blank, want to ride my bike. Do you, do you still work for Mac? Just to answer that, yes, I do. How many kids do you have? <laughs> I have four kids. So I have, they range from eight to one's about to be 12. And they have Landon, Ethan, Emma, and Cadence. Cadence is the oldest and Emma is the youngest. I am a busy, busy, busy person and I wouldn't change it for the world. How do you balance work, YouTube, and kids? That is, it is so difficult, you guys, like, oh my god. Okay, so basically, I work five days a week, and I knew, like, I was a stay-at-home mom for a long time. I raised my kids to be how I wanted them to be, meaning I wanted them to be respectful, I wanted them manners, and um, I wanted them to be able to do things on their own. So they are, they do chores, they are yes ma'am, no ma'am kids, like, I, I have a lot of trust in my little babies. So I raised them and then I started to be able to do two days a week, which is on the weekends. And then I worked my way up to three and then four days a week. And now like just recently I am a full-time artist. So I, in that time though, I taught like my oldest daughter, you know, how to make certain foods and this and that. So if I'm not going to be home before their dad's home, I will call and be like, Hey, you know, let's make dinner. So we'll do it over the phone. And then, um, as far as like with my husband, that's a little harder because I don't see him as much. He's always, 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 always in the gym, like always. So I'll get home and he's at the gym, but we definitely always have like our few date nights. There's just us and it really, really works. It is hard to do, but you have to really want it. So if you want it, you'll do it. Or if you don't, you'll make excuses. What inspires your tattoo collection? Um, 
I am going to talk about that in my actual tattoo video. What is a good time frame to give yourself to do a really nice daily glam sexy look? Myself, if I'm doing my makeup, I'm doing my makeup. If I sit down, I'm doing it. I'm not going to like, oh, we're just gonna throw a little powder and lip gloss. Like, I just don't do that. Um, so for me, it takes me an hour, like pretty much exactly an hour to do my face no matter what style, whether I'm doing really dramatic eyes, simple eyes, you know, whatever I'm doing, it takes me an hour to do. So I think 45 minutes is, you know, doable and an hour is preferred, <laughs> I would say. Um, I think people get a lot of beef for taking so long to do their makeup. It's an art. And it takes a while. If you're going to blend things and make it look perfect, it's going to take time. And I will be honest with you, when I first started to do my makeup, it took me two hours. This is like four. But I mean two. <laughs> it took me two hours to do my makeup. It was insane. But now, you know, I've got it down, packed a little bit better. And I can bust it out what I think pretty quickly. So you guys are seeing this 15-minute video really it took me an hour, not, you know, to do my eyes, but talking about skincare, primers, everything, done and done, about to walk out the door, an hour. <laughs> okay. All these people want to know if I still work for Mac. I still work for Mac. Um, what advice would you give and consider most important for someone starting up as a makeup artist? And then the next question was, do you still work for Mac? Um, the most important thing is practice. You have to practice. You cannot wake up one morning and be like, you know what, I don't feel like doing makeup today. No. The only way you're going to perfect your craft is to keep doing it. There were days that I would do my face three or four times because I couldn't get that cut crease. That cut crease was like the B and in like it just was not going to work for me. And I made it work. And you just have to practice. I suggest doing your makeup like you normally would or adding something new every day. But then at the end of the night, if you're struggling with winged liner, do your makeup like you normally would. And at nighttime, before you're going to take it off, practice. Do both sides and practice your winged liner because you're about to take it off anyway. So that's a good tip. I think I used to do that all the time because I didn't want to get mad at myself or mad at the situation <laughs> that I couldn't get something done. So I started doing it at night before I took off my makeup so I wouldn't have anywhere to go. So if I messed it all up, it was fine, but I learned something from it. Who are your biggest influences in makeup? So my favorites are definitely Linda Hallberg's, Pat McGrath, and Dominique. Um, Instagram, I don't remember her handle. I'll insert it down below. But I feel like Linda Hallberg does a lot of like wearable edgy stuff. And then Dominique just does the craziest, most inspiring work that I, I just love it. And then Pat McGrath, like Pat McGrath is Pat McGrath. Like, she has her own line now and she is in the fashion industry like that to me is that's why I will, that's what I want to do I want to do things that are really high fashion editorial like crazy makeup I'm not really inspired this is gonna sound horrible but I'm not really inspired by daily makeup I'm not inspired by that glowy look it just that just kind of it seems very easy to me. I'm inspired by things that don't make sense, like dots all over your your eyes as eyeshadow. That inspires me. That's like, oh my God, that looks so cool. I've got to learn how to do this. So that's what I love. And I definitely suggest looking at Linda Hallberg's, I think it's Banger Beauty, her YouTube channel. I just think it's so cool. How can we start a career as a makeup artist at MAC? So there's people that have tried four years and more trying to get onto Mac. Basically, you have got to keep trying. Keep improving your skill. When you go into Mac, make sure you're wearing black, all black. You would think that was like obvious, but we have people coming in like ripped up jeans, Birkenstocks and their hair are messed. Like, can I work for Mac? Like, are you kidding? I'm like, no. <laughs> so dress for the job you want, not the job you have. And Keep practicing, wear your best work, but that does not necessarily mean a big blue smoky eye. Just be kind of like, you know, what I am right now. It shows a little bit of extraness, <laughs> but like scaled back a little bit. That's, this is kind of how I would say 
you would want to go into Mac. Um, but whatever you wear, have it really well executed and look the part. If you don't get it the first, second, third, fourth try, keep trying because they want somebody who is going to go the extra mile. And personality is everything. I have seen people not know, like hardly know anything about Mac products and not be able to do makeup that well, but their personality is amazing. And what they see is you are gonna be able to sell stuff as soon as you know how to do it because you are so much fun, you're enthusiastic about makeup and it's written all over your face. So make sure that you're going in with a good attitude and show your personality. <laughs> this one cracks me up because it really does happen all the time. How do you deal with clients that do not understand anything about makeup but try to teach you how to do it? Girl. I have mothers come in and be like, so my daughter is a yellow undertone. She is this, this, and this, and I need you to understand. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 hold on. See, mama does this for a living. <laughs> I don't say it like that, but I smile and I'm like, ma'am, I've got you. Don't worry about it. I get paid to do this. This is what I am good at. If you are confident and put stand your ground, a lot of times they'll be like, Okay, if you act timid and peep, they will just keep on, they will think you have no idea what you're doing and they're gonna sit there and direct you through it. If you say, ma'am, I got this, and then you show them that you got this, you bang out that brow, you match that color to a T, they're gonna shut up and at the end, they're gonna be like, what sh I need your card and I need you to be my makeup artist for the rest of my life. You have got to stand your ground and show them that you know what you're talking about and you don't need them to tell you. How many pets do you have and can we meet them? I have already introduced Diesel once, but let's get him again. Diesel! Ugh. Oh, I gotta get up here. Oh, I say Fuzzy. Oh, hi, Fuzzy. Oh, I don't know if they can see you. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is my soft coated wheat interior. His name's Diesel, and he's very uncomfortable right now, aren't you? I said, Boo hello, hello. Okay, let's get down. He's probably like, Mama, what are you doing to me? What's he doing? Hmm? And he's so dirty right now, he's funky. That is the only pet I have. How do you feel about makeup still being tested on animals? So, obviously, I don't want makeup to be tested on animals, but... I feel like there needs to be a means to an end and we need different ways to manage all of this. I know MAC has to test on animals because they sell to different countries that require it. So it's harder for larger companies. I know like indie brands and stuff, they're smaller so they can be cruelty free. However, bigger brands are having a harder time with it. And I'm honestly not sure how that is going to be able to end. I think everyone's going to have to come to one agreement. And we all know that the world is not fair. And seeing everybody coming to an agreement, I, you know, I don't know that's going to happen anytime soon. But I do know that Mac does not want to test on animals. They aren't trying to do anything bad. It's just there's certain things that they have to abide by when you're that large of a company. My favorite music band... I don't really have one. I just kind of live in the moment. Favorite clothing and brand store. I love free people. However, here recently, I haven't been able to find things. So I'm on the hunt for new clothing options because I like black, but I like to have like bohemian, edgy, something. I don't know. I started looking at Topshop and um, forget the other name of the other place, but I love Freebird, Freebird boots. Yes, girl. But yeah, I'm kind of on the hunt. So if you guys know something that you maybe think would appeal to me, let me know. What's your husband's name and what he works on? Just curious. I kind of imagine your husband is a musician or an artist. My husband is actually, I call him Puffin. His name is Eric. And he is a machinist. So <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a man's man. <laughs> You're one of my favorite YouTubers. Thank you. I love it when you guys say it. It makes me so happy. I would love to know your journey to becoming a makeup artist, where you started, how long it took, the hurdles, blah blah blah. Um so as I said in the beginning, makeup was like a no-go for me, wasn't supposed to wear it growing up, and then I was kind of tormented for wearing it, and then 
turned into me stop wearing it. And basically, if I did not hurt my shoulder, I don't think I would be a makeup artist. And so that kind of shows you that sometimes things that happen to you in life that are bad end up for something good. And I know that if I had not messed up, there goes my phone, messed up my shoulder, I, I wouldn't be on this path right now. Basically, what happened to me was I started playing in makeup as a an outlet for my artistry because I couldn't do other things anymore and started to get kind of good at it, kind of, like mind you, I still literally wasn't very good. And I was in Mac one day and they came up to me and were like, so I need your resume so we can get you hired. And I'm like, what? You know, I didn't go to school for this. <laughs> and they were like, you don't have to, we can train you and da 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 da. And I didn't know about the freelancing program at that time. So I turned it down and I went into the parking lot and I literally cried. I was with my mom and I was just bawling my eyes out because I had four kids. I had to, you know, not had to raise them. I wanted to raise them. And it just wasn't an option for me. So I was so upset. I was like, dream job, can't do it. But then I was told about the freelance program and I started working just two days on the weekend and it turned into a permanent position and that's how I got started. So don't give up. Find ways to get what you want. Random side note. I've got a new foundation on. I'm liking it. I'm just saying. I'm testing it out for you guys. So there will be a review on it, but I'm not telling you what it is right now. I would like to know where it is that you live that you have to drive an hour from and back to Mac. You really must love the job. <laughs> Can you do a hubby does my end makeup? <laughs> yeah, it uh, actually takes me an hour and a half to get to work, sometimes an hour and 45, but I love my job. I live in the boonies. Like I said, I do live in Tennessee. Um, I'm not really comfortable saying, you know, hey, I live XYZ on the internet, but I do live, I, I live an hour and a half from my job. And that's completely fine by me because I really do love my job. And most of the time I'm on my motorcycle anyway, so I'm not mad at an hour and a half drive. Now, <laughs> husband will not get on the camera, will not happen. I've been trying to like take pictures of him and this, no, he just won't do it. It's uh, not gonna happen. Mm -mm. Can we see a picture of you and your husband together and do you work at the Mac store? Yes, I work at a Mac store, not a um, counter, counter, a counter location anymore. I used to work at a counter location. Um, and I do have pictures of me and my husband, but he won't take any recently. He just won't do it. He hates the camera. He doesn't like his picture taken at all. So I have a few random ones and I'm going to insert a few little, little cute ones that I just love of him. Um, this one was one of my favorite pictures of like when we first started dating. I took a picture of him when I was about to get my hair cut and I was like, you are so cute. But no, he won't take pictures anymore at all. If I could do makeup for any one celebrity, who would it be? Rihanna, like done and done. A, everyone would see her face and her face is so gorgeous. Like that is a perfect freaking canvas. I would love to do Rihanna's makeup. More about my tattoos. Definitely going to do a video. How long have you been writing and was it difficult to learn? <laughs> this is an amazing story. <laughs> so I've only been writing for a year. I've done 10,000 miles in a year. Like I ride, not even playing. And that was with surgery in between. So if I could have written more, I would have written more. Um, I literally bought my motorcycle, rode it home, never driven a motorcycle in my entire life. And I didn't have my license either. So bought my motorcycle and rode it home. And it was, uh, it was scary, but, um, yeah, I fell in love with it like that. It was not difficult to learn, but I definitely highly suggest taking a class at like your Harley Davidson dealership. That's where, what I did. That's how I got my license. And you learn so much things not to do things to do. Like you wouldn't even believe the things that they teach you. <laughs> what does your significant other say about <laughs> how much you spend on makeup? <laughs> He doesn't, he doesn't even acknowledge it. Like he does it. Um, if he was the one buying it, he probably would. Um, he definitely would. But that's one of the reasons why I work and I work as much is because I have to support my addiction. And I really, really am actually trying to make it in this YouTube world. And I want to put in so much effort. So I spend a lot of money on makeup. I love reviewing it. I love playing in it. It's just, 
it's an addiction and there's worse addictions to have. So I put money into my craft. This is what I want to do with my life. Um, whether it's YouTube, celebrity artists, runway, anything like I want to do makeup. Who would play you in the movie about your life? Um, <laughs> it, I think it would have to go back and forth between my two best friends, Becca and Kelsey. Like, <laughs> Becca would have to play like the role of like my early life and like what I was about and like my struggles because she knows the majority of that. And then Kelsey would have to play my goofy ass like now because she, yeah. <laughs> we need our own TV show because the crap we say to one another as soon as we see each other and yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> but so I would say Becca would be like the majority of like me growing up and becoming who I am now. And then Kelsey would play who I am now because she would have a ball with that. You guys probably meant actors or actresses, but they don't know. What's my favorite movie? I don't have a favorite movie. I have favorites. I love Crash, the other oh, Bolin girl. I actually really like the Marvel movies. Don't tell my husband that. He thinks that he drags me to them, but he doesn't. Um, what state do you live in? Tennessee. Perfect date night. And will you adopt me? Who wants me to? I, I would adopt you. In a heartbeat, however, my house is really full. I have four kids. You don't want to live here. I mean, you can sleep with Diesel. Diesel real cuddly. He real cuddly. Tennessee, best foundation of all time. Can we see your tattoos? I'm going to do a video. Can you do a hair tutorial? I have three already on my channel, so look for them. And love your videos. Thank you. So best of foundation of all time. It has to be between Studio Waterweight and Prolong or Waterproof for Mac. Those right now are my holy grails. Nothing beats them. If I had to throw away every foundation I had, except for those two, I would be fine with it. What are your five favorite Mac products and why? Um, I just did a video on all of my Mac must have. So I kind of feel like those are in there. Um, Skin Refine Zone. The two foundations that I love the most I just told you about. Um, what else? Sculpting powders. And their lipsticks. Done. I'm struggling with my eyebrow color. Um, what do you recommend for those with us with really bright Crayola hair? So I think it just depends on the color and the color of your skin tone. That would be a really hard question to ask because, like, for me... If I had a bright pink hair, I would still go a more natural here, but kind of bring down the tone a little bit. It would just be less bright or dark. Um, when I had gray hair, I didn't change it either. Um, I don't know. I would really, honestly, I'd have to see a picture of the skin tone, the color of the hair, everything, because I don't think there's a general rule for it, but I do tend to like just more natural tones on the brows when you have brighter hair, but that's just my opinion. Ooh, I don't have a closed department store where they sell MAC cosmetics. Any points on how to order foundation online? Tim Talia has a foundation matrix, so they'll tell you if you're this shade in this foundation, you're this shade in the other. So I would Google um, Tim Talia foundation matrix and see if that helps. Would Puffin be willing to appear in a video? Yeah, no, he won't. I'm so sorry. I've tried. He, he's starting to give me the evil eye. I better stop asking. Yes, I'm going to do a bridal tutorial. I just don't know when. And no, I will not put on a wedding dress for it. Sorry. Guilty pleasure minus makeup. My motorcycle. If you told me you had to pick between your motorcycle and your makeup, I would die. I would just be like, well, I need my motorcycle to get to my makeup job, and I need my makeup job to pay for my motorcycle. So I think they're like one and one. Like, I can't live without either one of them. <laughs> Somebody says they're a fellow pixie, and they get this question all the time. Would you consider letting your hair grow back out, or do you think you're a forever pixie? Girl, no. The only time, like, I had a pixie cut a long time ago, but my hairstylist moved to New York. And when she moved to New York, I was not going to let anybody touch my hair, and it grew back out. So I had longer hair for a while until I found somebody that could cut my hair. At this point, I think that I would, even if my hairstylist moved, I would just shop, shop, shop for another stylist. Um, I, I just don't think I could ever grow my hair back out. I do think when I'm older though, I want long gray hair. 
So, but not until I'm like 60. So not anytime soon. If I wasn't doing makeup, what do I think I would be doing right now? If it wasn't for my shoulder, I would probably be doing interior design and painting still. Um, I really loved interior design. I think you can probably tell that by some of my other videos in my house. Like I did all that. I did all the painting on the wall. A lot of the artwork and stuff in my house is mine. Um, I really enjoyed that, but yeah, I hurt my shoulder, so I can't do a lot of it. And I'm not a delegator. I'm not like, do this. You do that. I'm like a hands-on kind of person. What type of camera do you use for YouTube and taking selfies? Selfies, my phone 100% of the time. YouTube, I use a Canon T5i Rebel, whatever the heck that is. And then I use Glamcore lighting. How did you and your husband meet? We met on a um, dating website called Zeusk, like back in the day. It was hilarious. Very last question is, what kind of bike do I have? So this was in my favorites video. I do not fault you for not seeing it. Um, this, the my bike is a 2016 Harley Softail Slim S, and it is flat matte green with a big old star on the side and I've been buying parts for it and it's been getting real nice and pretty. My husband and I are going on vacation and we're going to ride all the way to Myrtle Beach so I'm so excited. But anyway that is my question and answers video. I hope I got to everyone's. If I forgot someone I truly apologize but yes I will be doing a tattoo video just give me a little bit of time and I'll also be doing a review on this fabulous foundation. Anywho I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one.